Welcome back guys. Today we'll be doing implicit differentiation. Now let's get started. Now implicit differentiation is where we differentiate each side of an equation with two variables. In this case, we have one side having all the variables, but we have cases where we have two sides having the variables. Now we treat one of the variables as a function of the other. In this case, because we're differentiating y with respect to x, this y function is a function of x. So what do we mean by it's a function of x? Usually, we would have seen a function saying y equal 2x squared plus 3. So we say this is a function of x. So y represents a function, whatever function it may be, and we're differentiating that function. So finding dy by dx, I am going to differentiate the following equation. First, differentiating x squared, we know how to differentiate x squared. We carry the power in front of the x, so I'll have 2x, then subtract 1 from this power, so I'm going to have 2x to the 1. In order to differentiate y squared, because we're differentiating with respect to x, I am differentiating y squared with respect to x, so y is a function of x. So whatever function this is, we are differentiating it. So this is how we differentiate y squared. It's like doing chain rule, where we differentiate the outside, then the inside. So I have y squared. So I'm gonna differentiate the outside so we know we carry the two in front. So I'll have two, rewrite my y, and then subtract one from two, so I'll have one. Then I differentiate the inside, which is a y. So differentiating y, I will get dy by dx. Now why am I getting dy by dx? Because remember, y represents a function of x. So the dy by dx means that if y was 2x plus 1, I would have differentiated 2x plus 1 to get 2. So instead of having dy by dx here, I would have had the number 2. So just to repeat before I even continue, I'm differentiating y squared. So we apply chain rule, differentiate the outside, so I can add the 2 in front and subtract 1 from the power. So that's why you have a power 1 here. Then we differentiate the inside, which is the y, and differentiating y, we get dy by dx. Now we differentiate minus 2x, that will give us minus 2. If it was minus 3x, that will give us negative 3. Then we differentiate minus 2y, you know, because we have y, there's no power, so just differentiate y, and then we differentiate minus 2y, and we're differentiating with respect to x, and if we're differentiating with respect to x, then what's going to happen is that, because there's no power, just differentiate y, and we will get dy dx, so I have minus 2 dy dx, and differentiating minus 14 to get 0. So this is minus 0 equal 0. Simplifying, 2x to the power 1 is 2x. 2y to the power 1 is 2y. Then I have dy over dx minus 2 minus 2dy over dx equal 0. Now, because these two, we're not seeing any dy dx here, so we will carry it over to my right. So I'll have 2y dy over dx minus 2 dy over dx equal 
negative 2x plus 2. Over to my left, I can factor dy over dx, so factoring out dy over dx. What is left inside the bracket is 2y minus 2. So what I did is just factor the dy dx. So both of these went outside the bracket. And what is left is 2y minus 2 equal negative 2x plus 2. Now I am going to get rid of the 2y minus 2. So divide both sides by 2y minus 2. This cancels. So we have dy over dx is equal to minus 2x plus 2 over 2y minus 2. Now I can factor 2 in the numerator. And if I factor 2, that is these 2, I'll be left with minus x plus 1 in the numerator. Also, I can factor 2 in the denominator. So I'm left with y minus 1. And then these cancel. So that means dy over dx, which is what a question asked for, is equal to minus x plus 1 over y minus 1. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. And next week, I'll be doing another implicit differentiation question.